think the National Guard has to uh, come in? No, I don't think it's gotten to the point where you need the National Guard. There are plenty of cops, plenty of state troopers. The fact is they have to be positioned in a way in which no one in their right mind would consider attacking a Jew who's trying to conduct their activities, whether they're going to shul or synagogue, whether they're going to work, whether they're going to the store, whether they're bringing their kids to uh, school. Right now, they have a license to beat down Jews. We've seen the videos, we've seen the photographs, and what's happened to the culprits? They've been released back into the streets to do it again. What are you going to do about that, Cuomo? What are you going to do about that, de Blasio? What are you going to do about that, Democrats in the state legislature, right? While you, while you come here, you make uh, pretty speeches and you ask for the uh, Rebbe, Menachem Schneerson's dollar bill so you'll have good luck. This is what you deserve, this. Have you ever heard the word Hopsom? Hopsom. Huh? El Sharpton is Ilhan Omar, Rashid Tlaib, and all the others, and all our wonderful congressmen who just let it go and don't speak up. Well, especially the Jewish congressmen. Uh, you got it. Thank you. Said it. Thank Take you. care. For your work. Pleasure. 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 Thank you for us. Thank you for everything. Thank you. With joy. Oh, well, yeah, let me give you a card. Isn't that amazing? Wherever you go over here, everybody remembers you from 1991 and even before. It was a siege. It was an absolute siege. And we were here, working out of that truck. And it was anarchy. There was uh, no policing. Dinkins wouldn't let the police get involved. So people uh, depended on us to escort them to and from 770 Eastern Parkway. That's when I re uh, met the uh, Rebbe, Menachem Schneerson. Gave me two Rebbe dollars. They go, they, in fact, when I got shot in uh, June 19th of 1992, and my wallet, which I still carry like this, it was all bloody. When they opened it up, the Rebbe dollars were the only thing that was not bloody. Whoa. Now, Hashem, <laughs> JC, I don't know, what an insurance policy that was. I was alive. Whoa. Yes. Hey, good to see you, Rabbi. You got your troops are in formation. Oh, yeah. They're walking quite well. All right, he's, well been, he's been with us for many, many, many years. How are you? Good. Oh, exactly, exactly. Uh, Every day I wake up and don't touch wood. It's good. What, what has to happen is, like, the old days, I was in the Maccabees, and you simply walk the streets with your friends, and if you see somebody who's doing something, you speak Yiddish, that's from Oistzian. <laughs> On the ground, walk away, the world will go out in the neighborhood. Real faster than you could think, they'll stay away. And it did, it worked. In the rides one night, you drove me home. Yep. From Eastern Parkway to Carolus Connect, where that's I right. live. Remember how bad it was? Yes, so yes. Sorry, we, we welcome here. Yeah. We welcome them here. You know what? We need we need people like this to make Crown Heights safe. Mm -hmm. If the politicians don't stand up, we will stand up. Yeah, you gotta fight That's back. That's it. I agree with you. you. Gotta fight back. 100 percent We gotta fight back. And see people, they have no idea what it was like in 1991. No one understands what it is nineteen ninety one. We couldn't walk the streets. And unfortunately things are changing rapidly and if you don't stand up now. It's, it can get worse, and it's, it's, people don't realize if it starts with the Jews, it starts with some other, 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 other Who's ethnic next? group next. Exactly. So we got to make a stop to this, and this got to be stopped now. In fact, I remember we gave you a ride, and we were bringing people in from Buffalo and Rochester. Right. On the so other you side dropped of me Yuga. off. You dropped me off at Carolyn's. That's Connecticut. right. That's right. You had, a, I think it was a U-Haul truck. That's a U-Haul. U-Haul truck. That's right. We were right there. Yeah, Yankee, 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 come into my side. Come oh, and get a big picture. Pleasure. 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 Is the first time you've seen him since 1991? Yeah, since the 1991, I'm seeing Curtis now, yeah. Wow. I, that's why I drove around with the car now, and I saw and I tried to find him. I said, I gotta go first and go say thank you. Wow. He drove me home, home one night the ride. get all these guys out. Williamsburg and Borough Park will be patrolled by guardian angels. In addition to whatever the NYPD can do. New York State does not have a recall law. Would you be in favor of changing these laws this coming year? A recall law, meaning somebody's oh, bad, 100,000 signatures, get them out. They make it almost impossible to do a recall because of the percentage of the votes, uh, signatures that are needed of people who voted in the last election, but we don't have it. De Blasio could have easily have been recalled when he went on his hiatus for four months to be Don Quixote swinging at the windmills running for the presidency. 
Right. He would have been recalled then. Is this something you would uh, start oh, lobbying on the absolutely. radio? You'll start speaking yes. about that? Yeah, we need, desperately need recall. Prime page in de Blasio land. Well, now you know what you got to do if you want to go to a Met game. Do something stupid and you get a free ticket. I mean, they must be uh, masochists to want to go to a Met game. <laughs> 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 you think if we gave Yankee tickets, crime will be even oh, double? The Yankees would never. They, they would show. No, please. <laughs> bad PR. That's right. <laughs> the Mets are so bad, they'll do anything to get fill hey, up the stadium. Well, Ponzi said, <laughs> right. Go ahead, here. It's no longer our team. Go on, don't you? We made the Blasio's Jewish liaison, who's Hasidic, should just resign, and that would send the message. Uh, absolutely. But you know, you have uh, sellouts in every community. You had it uh, in the Dinkins years. Remember, he had his liaison, uh, I think it was Block, if I remember correctly. He sold out. So, you know, it's, I don't know how they look at themselves in the mirror. They just want photo ops, that's it. Yep. They need oh, well, they come, it's like, that, the reason we're here is when the mayor came on Friday, he was talking almost in a delusionary manner white neo-nazi fascist and confederate flag that everybody's saying mr mayor yeah okay we get it that's charlottesville that's that nut job in san diego pittsburgh that ain't new york and new jersey and he just he just can't seem to understand it's a whole different situation here that he's partly responsible him and Cuomo. do you think uh this is only going to help uh trump's re-election that much stronger i don't know i don't know uh uh, I don't think it has any impact. You know, it, it, it impacts us, uh, and it impacts other areas that have been the sites of uh, anti-Semitic attacks. But I don't think overall it affects the election. Overall. But it should affect whoever replaces de Blasio and Cuomo, who needs to be term limited out. It's time for him to go. I mean, what I heard in Muncie today was mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. You know, oh, we can't tolerate this. It's a domestic terrorist, domestic, you're letting them have back into the street. Your law, you passed it, you signed it. Where is Bill de Blasio? Where is um, Chucky Chuck Schumer? Oh, forget when Schumer. Elon Omar when Elon Omar excuse her hate, when the store, who's on Bernie Sanders' team, excuse her hate, when the little born um, um, head person says, I'm a proud Hamas yeah. where are they? Well, who signed not only that. Who else you got? He he Jerry it. Nadler? Jerry Nadler? Carolyn Maloney? Yes. Elliot Engel? Quiet. These are all the big right mockers there. in the house. Quiet. Nothing. Yeah, I, think but, I know it's early, but who would you like to see be the next mayor of the city? you have anyone in mind who say it's a good leader? Like nobody. Nicole uh, Melitakis, nobody, maybe? Nobody is, is going to be able to tell the truth about what's happening in the city. Uh, and if you notice, almost none of them are criticizing de Blasio. When he took off for four months, <laughs> on his mission to become president, which he was in a LSD flashback, you would have thought there would have been a lot of Democrats who would have been criticizing him publicly. Nothing. Everybody's scared. The whole WhatsApp group is just buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. What do we do for security? Guns are almost impossible to get. No, well, you, you know, it's got to be self-defense. you got to fight back. I remember the very first citizen patrol I ever saw. I was only 14, 15. I was going to Brooklyn Prep, the Jesuit High School, which is where Medgar Evers is. And I used to take the bus, B-17 bus to Troy, where the library is in the school, walk all the way down here. And right here, I saw a rabbi from Sale Pablo, I forget his name, and he organized the first citizen patrol, the Maccabees. Straga, Maccabees. Right. And the, the dividing line was here. It wasn't St. John's Place. The dividing line was here. And I'm trying to remember the rabble rouser at the time. He's still alive. He's got a church on Atlantic Avenue. He would come here and give the, the Jews grief all the time. And young men would come through here and just start beating them down. But the Maccabees, let's say they were bakers or butchers or they were taking care of their families. One would yell, hop some. <laughs> yeah. And everyone else would drop whatever they're doing. And we're not talking accomplished martial artists, you know. But it didn't matter. 50, 60, 70 would chase the guys, put boots into their head. When the cops of the 7-1 would drag them away, they had like 50 boot marks in their head. And then they would do a lineup. Which which one is it? <laughs> Guys should say, they all look the same to me. In fact, Barry Slavik uh, defended Lubavitch in a case in which he had the whole corner filled with Lubavitch. 
and the dogs, they couldn't identify because to them, they all looked the same. But you had to, back then it was like survival. I grew up here. Yeah. I remember how it was in the 70s. Yeah. It, was, it was crazy. We were getting mugged all the time. My mother just came out of this bank and she had a pocket with stone. Everybody would get, you know, mugged all the time. She was going, and look what's happening now. Yep. We're coming back because of this mayor. Yep. The mayor was here Friday. I saw him. Oh, what a shame. Pathetic. Pathetic. Well, I mean, it's, but anyways, we thank you, Mr. Kirsten. I was here in 19, 1991. I remember you were here. So yes. Thank you again. Yes. We're going through this cycle again. Well, that's that, why we're back. We got calls after that uh, feckless uh, meeting of the mayor on Friday. <laughs> they said, please. This guy is delusional. He has no idea what this well, problem is. I was in the museum a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. The whole thing with, uh, with Eric Gonzalez and the head of the precinct. They were all here. And people like myself were getting up talking about crime and incidents and how they let the guys out onto the street 15 minutes later. To have it all on video, it was right here on the second floor. The DA blames the 71st, the 71st blames the DA. They play the game back and forth. So the average citizen, when they get up and they say the crime is not being taken serious, they each blame each other. It's a puppet show. But Eric Gonzalez has been a leader in that movement, the no bail movement, you know, decriminalize, release. So he's no friend of the community. No way. No way. And it would have been worse. You imagine if Caban would have been elected DA in Queens. Now, you know, I know Melinda Catch, uh, well, my two youngest children are with her. Mm -hmm. But if she had lost that race to Caban, it would have been open season for crime in, in Queens. Do you feel safer with the Guardian Angels here? I think it's a great thing they're doing. I appreciate their help very much, and we need as much help as we can get, whether it's more security cameras, more police, whatever it is, we need help, because it's just getting worse. It doesn't seem that the mayor is doing anything or anyone else. They all say, you know, they feel for us and they're with us, but we don't see any action. Do you think this is back to the 1970s? Uh, I hope it doesn't get that way, but it looks like that's the direction it's going <laughs> unless someone's going to do something about it. If it's not, you know, stopped right, curtailed right away, it could get worse and worse and worse. You've been, you remember the 1991 Crown Heights riots, right? I do, I do. I was a Russia call then. And unfortunately, yeah, the police didn't do their job, the, the political movement didn't do their job, the mayor didn't do his job, and it just kept on getting worse and worse. What message would you give the mayor of the Blasio? The mayor to take strong action. I have, I should be, go to all the schools, teach your kids what, what anti-Semitism is, and they should, they gotta be taught more.